Hey, what is going on guys? Today I want to make this really quick video to show you how to uninstall the latest Windows 10 1903 update. So there are several reasons why you might want to do this. Maybe you're noticing issues after installing it, maybe your computer's running really slow, or maybe you just simply don't like the new update. So it's actually really simple to uninstall this, but there are a few things you need to know that are very important. So the first thing you need to know is the update cannot be uninstalled if you are missing the windows.old folder. So this is your old install of Windows right here. If this folder has been deleted or if this folder is empty, then you are not going to be able to actually, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. I meant to click properties here. If this folder is missing or if it's empty, you are not going to be able to uninstall the latest update. You have to have this folder and it has to have all of the contents in it. And as you can see, we're good to go here. The second thing you need to know is you cannot uninstall the update if it has been more than 10 days. And the reason for that is because after 10 days, Windows automatically deletes that windows.old folder. So you only have 10 days after installing the update to decide whether or not you like it. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the uninstall process. So all you're gonna do is head on over to your settings right here. And by the way, if you notice my computer is running slow, that's because this is on a virtual machine and I'm screen recording on Mac OS. So that's why it's going a little slow for me here. Um, and then you want to go to the update and security right here. And when you get into the update security over here on the left side, you want to click on the recovery uh, tab right here. And then you can see this option right here in the middle that says go back to a previous version of Windows 10. And all you have to do is click on the get started tab or get started button, excuse me. And it's going to uh, load up this little thing here and apparently we need to plug into the charger. Should have known that. All right, so it's going to ask you why you are going back to an earlier build. Uh, so you can just answer, you know, one of these questions here, or you can hit for another reason and type it in right there. But you just answer whatever right here. It lets Microsoft know um, what they need to improve on, and you hit the next button. And they're asking you if you want to check for updates because those might actually fix your problem, which it could. Um, but you are wanting to go back to an earlier build, so you would hit no thanks. And then it's just giving you a little warning here um, that this is going to take a while and also you may have to reinstall some apps and programs and you also will lose any changes made to settings after installing the latest build. So basically what this means is if you have done anything after updating, so if you've installed any apps, if you've changed any settings, you are going to lose that because it's going back so basically that backup in the windows.old folder so uh, you just want to you know make sure you're aware of that and also it is definitely a good idea to create a backup of your PC even though nothing should happen you never know you always want to make sure you are backed up so once you get all that you hit next and then also this is another important thing if you have changed your password um, to log into your computer after installing this update you want to make sure you remember the old password because you will not be able to log in with a new one that you've created so hit next and they're just saying thanks for trying out this build and we'll install uh, it when it's available so final thing you do is hit the go back to earlier build now I'm not gonna do that because I personally am enjoying the 1903 build but you would click that button and it would begin the uninstall process so guys it's that simple again very important to note if it's been more than 10 days you're not going to be able to do it if the windows.old folder is no longer there you're not going to be able to do it there were a lot of issues when this update was first being released to people but since then you know there's been a couple of minor fixes and stuff and I personally have not had any problems yet 
um, with this new update so I am going to continue to use it but if you feel like you need to go back to the older build you can definitely do it anyways guys that's all I got for you today I want to make this quick video for you and I will catch you all in the next one